previously on YouTube, The Drawing Dead. Ooh. Ooh, the wow, that was a nice jump for J-Man. Out for 1,000, so down a little over a grand. Miami, or at least that's where the pilot said he took us. I'm still in the airport, so honestly, I could be anywhere. So we have made it. We are here at the Seminole Hard Rock in Hollywood, Florida, I think. And I'm guessing it's probably about midnight. And I need to get situated. So I'll just catch you guys tomorrow. We'll vlog some things tomorrow. That's what we'll do. Bye. Eight twenty-two Saturday morning. And I'm at the Hard Rock. In Florida. Anyway, it's early. Getting an early start to the day. And you can't really get an early start to the day without food. So I had them bring me breakfast. So I'm gonna eat, then I'm gonna shower, then we're gonna get dressed, and then we're gonna head downstairs and we're gonna get to the casino portion of this thing. With like poker and shit in it. We're headed back in. We're gonna see what we can uh, make happen with tournament poker. I'll probably show you guys a couple hands, but be gentle. Tournament poker is not my forte. So we are here, we are still in the tournament. How I have chips, I have zero clue. Because I think I played a total of three hands. Did I say I have no idea what I'm doing in tournaments? We're gonna hang in there, we're gonna do the best we can. And uh, hopefully I will catch you guys second break. First break, I'm here, and I met some Drawing Dead fans. Here, in Hollywood. <laughs>
be really honest with you, the vast majority of my tournament play, especially early in the tournament, involved me just betting larger than everybody else was. For example, this hand here with Jack-9 offsuit. Sure, I flop a naked straight draw, but I bet pot, whereas it appeared the rest of the table would be betting half pot and quarter pot in these type situations. I wasn't really trying to build a big pot like I would in a cash game. Here, I'm just trying to accumulate chips. I'm trying to win as many pots as I can. Most hands, whether it be cash games or tournaments, need a little context. And this one's no exception. With blinds at 300 and 600 with a $600 big blind ante, I open it up under the gun to 1600 with pocket eights. It folds all the way around to the big blind, who decides for the fourth time and maybe the last six hands to just move all in. Knowing that this guy is just liberally moving in with who knows what, I decide pocket eights isn't really that bad of a hand to call. I actually flop a straight draw. Unfortunately for me, I don't improve and I lose a pretty big sized pot at this point in the tournament. Let's all watch a hand where I make a mistake on every possible street. Blinds are 400 and 800 with an $800 big blind ante. I'm on the button with ace deuce of spades and the action has been folded to me. Instead of opening for a raise like I should with my ace high, which is probably the best hand here, I decide to limp, giving the small blind an insane price and letting the big blind see the flop for essentially free. The flop comes down ace jack deuce with two clubs and the small blind leads right out into the big blind and myself. The big blind quickly folds and I'm left with my first decision. It's very unlikely that the small blind has aces or jacks or ace jack because of the pre-flop action. Deuces are also unlikely because of card removal, so 99 times out of 100, I have the best hand here. I should definitely be raising here to try to get some value from his ace or his flush draw, but I don't. I make mistake number two. I just call. The six on the turn most likely helped no one. He leads again. And again, given the opportunity to raise, I just call. The three on the river, although it does complete a backdoor flush, and it also completes a flopped gutter wheel draw, he decides to check. So after missing prime opportunity to raise preflop, another opportunity to bet on the flop and the turn, it's the river where I decide to bet when checked to. But the amount I decide to bet is tiny. It's not even half the pot. Fortunately for me, he does find a call, and I eke out some value on the river. Horrible. Okay, Darling, you send me. I know you send me. Darling, you. He likes to say he bulldozes the tables. Bull is the right word. So we're on the second break, and I uh, I think I'm doing okay. Hmm. <laughs> okay. I, think, I think I'm doing okay. Average stack right now is uh, a little over 29,000, and I have a little over 100,000 in front of me, which, word on the street, is what they broke with yesterday. That's what they broke with yesterday. That was average stack, right? About 100,000 or so. So, I can relax a little and get into my break.
Okay, stop, cut, cut the sappy music. We have to talk about this. We have to talk about this hand I played in the tournament with blinds at 600, 1200 with the 1200 chip big blind ante. I start this hand with well over the chip average. I think I had about 150,000 chips with the chip average being about 30 or 32,000. The villain in this hand, the small blind, also had a very large stack. I believe he had about 80,000 chips. My table was playing rather passive, and so the action was often folded to me in the button and in the cutoff, and in both spots, I was raising a large percentage of my hands. Even when raising a large percentage of your hands, you still have to have some range of hands you're going to fold. You'd think the 6-3 offsuit would be in that range. But I'm in bulldozer mode, so this hand fits right into that range as well. I raise it up. Three grand. The small blind, who at this point had shown himself to be a very competent player, has had enough of my shenanigans. He three bets me to 8,500. Oh, I see. I see, small blind. You're trying to push me around. And you won't be pushed around. Ain't happening. Don't care that I only have six high, and this should be an easy fold. I call. Let's see a flop. Ace, 10, 6 with one heart. Dream flop. I have a pair and a backdoor. Mm, well, I have a pair. He leads out for another 8,500. Keep in mind that the tournament average stack is only about 30,000 at this point. We're almost to that point on this flop. Unfettered and willing to give away my chip lead with bottom pair. I call the 8,500. Let's see this turn card. Four of hearts. Ha! That couldn't have helped you, small blind. Four of hearts couldn't have helped you at all. That's right. You better check. Get out of my pot. So I will just go ahead and take this. Thank you very much. I think 11,000 should do the job. Um... Why is he not folding? Small blind, why are you not folding? What are you thinking about? His hand is over. Let it go. Uh-oh. I'm pretty sure that three of hearts on the river is, uh, good for my hand. The small blind finds a check, and here's where I drop the bomb. 20,000. You're tanking again. Small blind just fold. Seriously this time. I actually feel bad. Fold. Please just let it go. He calls, and, uh, oh boy. He's not gonna like this. Oh, you Okay, you can spin back up that sappy music. So they moved me to a new table. So we made it. We made it to day two, despite the uh, poker gods trying to put me at the table of the uh, tournament in boss. This guy, I still survived. Day two, coming back tomorrow with a buttload of chips. He wanted to comment. You wanted to comment on my I, prowess. I did. You, you, you know, you came in, and immediately when you sat down, it's like I need a table change because <laughs> you didn't want to give me all your chips. I understand. Well, I'll see you tomorrow. I'm coming for you tomorrow. Yes, that's right. We're both here tomorrow. We're, we're both here tomorrow. both made day two. Both made day two, so I'm coming for the chips tomorrow. You can't run. Can't run. No running. Unbelievable. Tournaments. How did I make day two of the tournament? 
When did I become a tournament guy? But I did it. On one bullet, no less. $86 in day two tournament ticket punched. Heading back into the tournament tomorrow at noon with uh, a stack that people are guessing is probably second or third overall. 281,500 tournament chips. That's crazy. I think average stack is about 100,000 and I have 281 and that is nuts. But we'll worry about that and all that tournament jazz tomorrow. Tonight, we gotta get into something else. Let's get into some of that Florida cash action. I've yet to even play a cash hand in Florida. What? Now I'm in my absolute all-time favorite situation. I'm new to the table. This is only my third hand. The table probably thinks I'm a maniac because they just saw me shove in heaps with an ace-high flush draw. There's a raise in front of me, a caller, and I look at my hand on the button and I have ace-king of spades. This is going to get good. I decide on a three bet to $85, hoping to keep one of the two players around. Unfortunately, they both fold. Mid-session update time from Hollywood, Florida, Seminole Hard Rock, with Sam and Lee Jones. Hello, Internet. The man behind the man. I lose because pocket jacks are rigged, and that's why you're stuck playing goddamn three-set tournaments and complaining to Lee Jones about how poker stars runouts are the most rigged. Fuck that shit. Stop sucking at poker. Hi, Mom. The reason I'm in Florida, Lee Jones. So, as you guys probably saw, I did pretty well in the tournament. The third, chip third. Like, Am I third? Is that what it is? Yeah, yeah it's up there. Yeah. So, I did pretty well in the tournament, coming back for day two in like 14 hours. Playing cash right now, doing well in cash. I'm just running well all over the damn place. I don't want to talk about how I'm doing. We're so, not going to talk about it. We're not going to talk about how Sam's doing. How, yeah. How's you doing the cash? I, I won a little bit, but it was all, I mean, it's all very <laughs> So he won a little bit, he lost a little bit. A I'm winning every damn thing. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We're not gonna stay out here too long because like I said, I gotta get up for day two of the tournament tomorrow. I'm gonna probably put in maybe another two hours in cash, wrap this whole thing up, and we'll call it a night. See? Great station update. Easy. That's what I'm talking about. Easy peasy. Get 
Get scratching. So honestly, after those first couple hands, I was either card dead or spot dead for the rest of this session. It never hurts to look down at aces though. Preferably not in the small blind, but hey, I'll take them where I can get them. Four limpers in front of me and I decide to raise it up to 45. And everybody quickly folds. I'm starting to think maybe it's just time to call this a night. So that is it for the uh, poker playing tonight. It is about quarter till midnight. I know I have to be right back here by noon for day two. So we played an abbreviated 2-5 session in which I did rather well. In the 2-5 game for 700, out for 1835. Can't complain about that now, can I? Can't complain about a day of run good, a whole day of run good. Let's just hope that I have some more run good left tomorrow for day two. Let's hope. And if you know the Seminole Hard Rock at all, and if you're wondering what part of the casino I'm in, that's a good question because I have zero clue where I'm at. But I will find my hotel room, I will get some shut eye, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Next Bye. time on YouTube's The Drawing Dead. You, you like all my chips? I would love all your chips. You're not, you're not gonna get them all. <laughs>feel as early as it is. Does that make sense? So I think here's the plan. I'm going to uh, eat, then shower, and then we're going to head downstairs and get to the casino portion of the, uh, you know. So I'm going to eat, shower, get dressed, get downstairs, because today's the tournament. So I'm going to eat, shower, get dressed, but I did it heading back to the tournament tomorrow at noon with what they're guessing is probably heading back into the tournament tomorrow at noon, heading back into the tournament tomorrow at noon, which they, but we're going to worry about that. I think average stack is about a hundred thousand and I have 281. How did I? Anyway, you might or might not uh, see the back of you at the ATM. <laughs> Did you learn my catchphrase? Yeah. No, uh, Delamino or something? Dimelo. What is, what is Dimelo? Dimelo. That means, tell me, tell me. Oh. So when somebody says, yo, what's up? You say, Dimelo. Dimelo. Like, yo, what's going on? Dimelo. Uh -oh. yeah. So, relaxing, uh, what do you call that? Uh, Vegas thing? The relaxing room? The locking You know the one you always go to before you uh, leave Vegas. What's it called? Oh, that's the uh, conservatory. There you go. Oh, the Bellagio. This is the conservatory. All right. Let's see if we can find a cash game. But you bet not slip, because he might cop a new Tesla if he stack more chips.